do not use the built-in Google Chrome password manager. It doesn't matter if you're on Android or iPhone, Mac or Windows, this is why you shouldn't be using the Google Chrome built-in password manager and should be using a dedicated proper password manager. It is one that is so important to understand because, well, if you get this wrong, then you'll be caught with your pants down, kind of like Matt Damon did recently. Nice. Watch this video, which is just one example of why you shouldn't be using Google Chrome. All I need to do is insert this USB device, which basically types in a single command on a command prompt window, which runs a script in the background within a few seconds on an unlocked computer and sends all of those Chrome passwords to an offsite server under my control. Within a few seconds, I'm able to look at those usernames and passwords on my mobile phone just by going to a web address. You can see here that the details that I'd saved in Chrome are now visible remotely on my mobile. And that's how simple it is for a hacker. Hi, my name is Pete. And for the last 10 years, right up into last year, I ran my own IT business. We helped look after businesses of like all sizes here in the UK. And one issue that cropped up from time to time was when someone swapped machines and couldn't remember their various like Google passwords. And the only solution was to start from scratch. But they needed all of their passwords, which they've been conveniently saving into Google Chrome for the last like five years. And when I say that, the video that I just played is just one of many reasons why you shouldn't be using Google Chrome to manage your passwords. I really mean it. Every time my staff, who were a lot cleverer than I was, would always find a way in some form to extract the passwords from Google Chrome without knowing any of the login details or like information. So whilst Google Chrome does offer the most convenient solution because well, lots of us are using Google Chrome already and it handily pops up to ask us if you know, do you wanna save our passwords? But it is far from the most secure and definitely not the best. Reason number two, well, passwords and other information stored in Google Chrome are only good when you're in the Chrome browser. Now you can store more than just passwords passwords in Chrome. How about debit or credit card information? It is quite a painful process when you're out in a shop wanting to, you know, pay for something to then get your phone out, open up Google Chrome and go through the menus and find that information. Going back to the browser and sometimes there are websites that just don't work in certain browsers. So even if you wanted to use Chrome, you can't. You know, if you use an iPhone, then you probably want to use Safari with all the optimizations it has. Perhaps at work, you're locked down to a yet another browser. And then the third reason is on the odd occasion, you might want to share a password with someone with Chrome. You just can't do it. The best solution to all of these issues is to use a proper password manager. Now, earlier this year, I tested pretty much all of the password managers, which you can watch up here somewhere. But a spoiler alert, the one I felt is best is 1Password. And if you want to get a proper password manager, then there are some links down below this video that get you up to, I think it's up to 50% off a subscription, depending on which license you sign up for. But to be honest, almost anything is better than just a built-in password kind of browser manager. You know, be that Chrome or Firefox, Edge, Safari, whatever it may be. But with a proper password manager, you can store your data, login information, passwords, card details, bank details, copies of passport, driving licenses, and pretty much whatever you need. You can even store those like two-factor authentication codes in some password managers to save you the hassle of having to like, yeah, open another app to go and find those passwords. Because the 1Password app is designed really, really well, if you ever need a password or like bank card, then you could just fire up the app, sign in using your face ID or fingerprint, search straight away for what you want and, and get to it with just no fuss. You can also share passwords between friends and families or coworkers and, and you can even create custom fields to store non-passwordy type information like say the answers to memorable information or security questions, memorable dates or, or even upload documents like driving licenses or passports for safekeeping. So don't use Google Chrome to store your passwords. Use a proper password manager. Again, links down below for some cool discounts and if you have some questions or think I'm wrong, Change my mind. Next up, go and watch this video to see how to make your 1Password account even more secure with one of these keys. Or if you really want to ruffle your feathers, watch this video that YouTube thinks you should go and watch. And then go and watch this video anyway. So uh, yeah, go watch both and I'll see you in both of them. Let's go.